Hey guys, Juicer from Puff TV. So, making another video. Um, it's kind of been not the greatest last couple days. Um, so, wasn't sure if I was going to even make a video today. But, uh, yeah, things came up and it's just been hard to focus on, uh, you know, making videos and whatnot. So, go ahead and, uh, we're going to smoke a little bit of this, I think if you can read it, Star Dog. It's not much, but do a dab of that. And then I think I have some G-Spot that we'll review today. So, it'll be our Fire Fridays. We're going to check out this G-Spot and do a couple dabs. Um, but yeah, kind of kind of been a little bummed out lately. Uh, Figured we smoke together. So, get a dab here and I'll get going. Probably help once I take a take a dab. Dealing with roommates and whatnot is kind of stressful. And this is what happens when you have cats freaking hair oh I threw them on the floor okay oh yeah so we're back to using the torch again um, I got my mini nail back and it went back to doing the same thing running the quadruple e error code so I sent it back to the company to get fixed We'll see if that changes anything. Um, doesn't change my opinions on the company. I think they're a great company, USA Made and everything, but it's just unfortunate that out of all the reviews I've watched, this just seems to be the only circumstance where this has happened. So, we're gonna take this dab off of this, so sorry about the noise. We have a thermo banger, drop my bong, and uh, broke the other banger I had, so we picked up this bad boy, it's a little dirty now, because I've been smoking on it, I'm a little pissed off about the uh, email being messed up, so we'll go ahead and get this bad boy heated up, take a dab at this star dog, and talk about this G-spot. So, if anyone is not familiar with what these do, it is a yellow thermo glass that's in it. Uh, it changes to a bright red like my inhaler here when it's hot, and then once you get to the right color temperature, you know, it's an easier way to determine when to take the dab. Now, I'm going to go ahead and rip it now. As you can tell, it's about this color. In a couple minutes, it will be back to being completely yellow. Cheers, guys. Some start on. Oh, I dropped my carb cap. Oh, no. Make sure there's nothing on it. Okay. Cheers, guys. Now I like the star dog. It uh catches her throat. Not what I like. What I like is that it tastes like <coughs> the super glue by Verano. It's a very good tasting strain. <coughs> Sorry I had to catch my breath here. <coughs> 
this is our G spot. I don't want to fling it everywhere. But, yeah. It looks like a kind of a peanut butter texture. Um, it's got a it's very dense, hard, um, kind of crumbly. <coughs> this is a cured butter. Cured butter. <coughs> a G spot. And it is running at 86% cannabinoids and 5% terps. And it looks like it is dominant in beta myrcene. It has almost 1% trans carophylline. I'm probably mispronouncing that, but it's okay. <coughs> and then the rest <coughs> add up to make the almost 5%. So, yeah. It also has a little bit of CBC. Don't know what that means. It's got some CBG, CBGA, CBD. <coughs> yeah. It's all around pretty good. Now, still catching my breath, obviously. <coughs> <clears throat> but we're gonna go ahead and get our dab here set up so we can take it now looks like earwax or poop <laughs> like whoever made wax on a whole different note while I'm catching my breath whoever came up with this it was like, yeah, I'm going to smoke that. It's just as a weird motherfucker as whoever decided to look on a, a utter and be like, yeah, I'm going to drink that. I wonder if it tastes good. I see cows drinking on it all the time. Let me slurp it up. You know what I mean? It's like, it looks so unappetizing for how appetizing it is. People gobble down milk all the time. <sighs> Same with that wax. It just, if you don't look at it, it's... <sighs> It's the best thing in the world. But it's just so weird looking. Thought I'd talk about that a little bit because I don't know if you guys think that ever when you get high. It's just like, man, wax is really fucking weird. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is like, why is it like that? Alright. That dab's. Dab's setting in and starting to help some. <coughs> so, we're going to go ahead. I'm kind of just going to skip the up close because it's, well, I don't know. I might throw it in there. But that's pretty much what we're working with. It's not anything crazy like the shatter we usually get. We're making it up close. is really cool. You know, it's really not going to be any different than what you're seeing there. Um, but like I said, we're going to go ahead and take it out of this. I'm going to get it heated up. So that way we can do that. It's going to suck not having the mini nail for a while, but <coughs> we'll make do. We will make do. So if you watch, I don't know if you can see, but um, you see it getting darker in color. Like I mentioned earlier. And then, <coughs> so, see how it's pretty bright red. It will end up going to probably about that color when it's finally cooled off. So, as you sit here and watch, you know, I like to feel the temperature. I usually try to not overheat it, um, try to hit it to about that core temperature so that way I can just dab real quick instead of having to wait five minutes to be like is it ready yet is it ready yet is it ready yet no i just want to take the dab and get it over with so i'm about to die i'm gonna take this dab i'm gonna head out finish my stuff for the day figured i'd make a video say hey didn't mean to make that rhyme but 
It's just a crime. <laughs> Let's take this tap, guys. Cheers. <coughs> Thanks for joining me. If you did happen to like it, like this bitch. Subscribe for more. Try to keep the content rolling through. Like I said, it's been a it's been kind of a hard week for me. So uh, we'll see how things go. But I'm definitely keep content coming. Love you all that stick around. Should be about ready. Cheers, guys. Now, it <coughs> stuff has like I want to say a grassy taste. Now I'm not sure what taste associates uh, myrcene to. Um, give me one second. Okay, so it's associated with an earthy, musky scent. I mean, it tastes pretty earthy and grassy, <coughs> so I would say that it's pretty spot on with what the, uh, the uh, <coughs> information says. <coughs> so, thank you for coming to see my video <laughs> of this G-spot. <coughs> I'm gonna go die, like I said. Guys, have a great day. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Enjoy it, Puff TV. See you guys.